Hey, it's the Empire. Jubas Empire. Back to my boss name. Nah, man, you guys heard the sound clip, man. Victor Ortiz talks about how he wanted to fight or be trained by Floyd Mayweather. He wants to be trained by the man. And he talked about how he was going through depression and how he was going through some things and he had some phony friends. And that's why he's been out the ring for so long. Now, man, Victor Ortiz has uh, was a, a cultural phenomenon at the time. When in his prime, when he beat uh, once undefeated, he took his O, Andre Berto, man. And that was the biggest win of his career. That was the win that got him that Floyd Mayweather fight. And that being said, man, Victor Ortiz has always been a, a really athletically gifted softball and, and, and is an aggressive fighter. Um, one, one of the best unique styles I ever seen coming from a Mexican fighter. And I, I thought he always had a, a high ceiling to become one of the best fighters uh, in the division. Unfortunately for him, um, you know, he didn't really have the best of trainers. You know, he was going through different trainers left and right. Um, his life seemed like it was chaotic at the time because, you know, what he would do, you know, he would quit in the ring. He, he, he would just be indecisive a lot. You know, he didn't have any, uh, he didn't have any motives. It seemed like, it seemed like boxing was just something he did for fun. But now he seemed like he took his taking his life seriously. Now he seemed like whatever he thought was his priorities, not his priorities anymore, man. You know, he used to have a group of friends he hangs out with that, like he said in the video, um, took him different places and, you know, partied all the time. And he thought that was his, supposed to be his life, you know, him acting. And now he's like, nah, man, you know, maybe I should get back to boxing. You know, um, boxing is my first love and I need to get back to the basics, man. And him trying to Floyd Mayweather would be a really big deal because I think Victor Ortiz's lack of being who he could really be is just him getting hit in the ring. You know, no no one, if you're getting hit by these power punchers and the best in the world, you know, back to back to back, you know, that's definitely going to affect you. If he just got his defense up, he wouldn't be quitting in the ring all the time. You know what I mean? So I think Victor Ortiz has a, a high uh, chance of coming back, man. You know, his last fight, his last big name fight, at least, was uh, Devin Alexander. And it was that, that was a draw. And so I thought that was a good fight, man. If you guys watched that fight, that was a pretty good fight. And um, yeah, man, I, I just feel like Victor Ortiz, man, he needs to come back for sure. I think he has a, a, a extremely high fan base. And I still I give him a chance and get some lot of these fighters, man. Um, that guy is like a super athlete. He's always doing triath triathons. He's always running, swimming, doing all kinds of... Like, when you do the triathons, it's like when you like bike for like a, a couple miles or like 10 miles or something like that, something dumb. And then you run for like a billion miles and you swim for a billion miles. It's crazy. I don't even know the details, but I know you're doing multiple strenuous uh, activities for long periods of time. And they're all marathons, right? That, that's the kind of stuff Victor Ortiz is into. He's always been an active guy. He's always been an in-shape kind of guy. So I know this guy's in shape right now. And if he wants to come back, he'll be a, a, a force to say the least in the West Way division right now, especially because people, people tend to overrate these fighters who are undefeated, you know, uh, i.e. like a Danny Garcia, like a Keith Thurman, like a, a Sean Porter, like a lot of fighters who were undefeated, uh, uh, uh Brook, undefeated years ago, who could never be touched, but now they took their, oh, you know, the door's open now. You know, we don't know if they can beat someone like a Victor Ortiz, you know, in my opinion, if Victor Ortiz gets the right trainer, he'll, he'll definitely be, he could win a lot of those fights. You know, he can definitely win a lot of those fights. And that being said, man, you know, we're going to see how his whole career unfolds, man. He, I, I think if he comes back, he could definitely come back to fight a big name off jump. You know, he could definitely fight a big name off jump. Let me know who you guys want to think who he can, he can fight. Me personally, eh. You know, I, I just want to see him get his feet wet again and then fight a big name after that. But him trying to go Floyd, I mean, he, he can get started getting paid tens of millions right away, man. Um, Victor Ortiz always had the look. He always had the swag to become a star. And if he chills with Floyd Mayweather, his, his, his name his name will boom. Definitely. He needs to really reach out to Floyd Mayweather. He, he, this video just came out like yesterday or this today. It hasn't even been a day yet. Not even 24 hours since the video came out. And if he links up with Floyd Mayweather, that would definitely, this career would just skyrocket. And and from what I've seen, I haven't seen Floyd Mayweather train any Hispanics. If he wants to tap into that uh, demographic, Victor Ortiz is definitely that guy. He's already established. He's already a big name. And the guy 
is not just a boxer. Like I said, he used to be an actor, and he still is an actor. He's just, um, you know, he has his feet in different industries, so it'll make him more marketable, you know? Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Victor Ortiz reaching out to Floyd Mayweather. Says he never left the ring. He'll still, he's still there. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. G-Busting Empire, bitch.